Hey guys, Taylor the Destructor here, and welcome back to Curse of the Sea Rats. Uh, it's been a while since I've recorded, actually. Um, I spaced out my last recording over the course of two weeks. I know my video upload schedule has been sucky lately. Um, this is probably going to be another longer episode, just like the last one. Uh, and I'm going to break it up into two, only because tomorrow... Well, by the time I'm done recording this, but... I can't record the next day, and that's just because I got a meeting and stuff for work, it's going to cut into recording time, but for the sake of getting enough recordings in and get it edited in time, I'm going to make this one a longer episode, break it up into two. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is going to go see Major Mallory, because we've got, Perhaps you could do me a small favor. we got that photo of his wife. One of those filthy pirates stole my treasure. A picture of my wife. It's very valuable to me. If you got it back, I would be much obliged to you. There you go, man. Oh, you've got back the picture of my wife. Oh, but isn't she pretty? How can I repay you for returning it to me? Actually, that cloth parrot would be good for us. Excellent. Oh. Here you go. Thank you for your help. Awesome. We got it for Pirate Rick. Um, what did he need? He wanted... We got the pirate clothing. I remember that. Who wants the voodoo doll? Oh, that's right. Yeah, I think I want to save that for Flora. Um... So we got the pirate clothing, the beard, the cloth pirate, or pi cloth pirate, cloth parrot, Jesus. This should have been at the bottom. I wonder if it's kind of already organizing itself, and what the hell are the shillings for? I don't know. Anyway, we got the lighthouse key, and that's where I said we were going next, so let's get there. You might have noticed too, we're starting off as Douglas, and that is because we got that amulet where we could switch between characters anytime we want. So if I'm really running into issues or I need a ranged attack, I can easily switch to Buffalo Cap. Is there a point to this room? Is that our ship in the background? Rat. Check in for any breakable walls there. Those things can take a beating. Nope. Wait. Oh, that's cool. So there's a shortcut automatically to swap between the cursed rats. That's awesome. Since we picked Douglas and we got all that stuff unlocked, uh, looks like the magic and stuff carries over. Is that a breakable wall down here? This looks fake. It is. Oh, you jerk. jerk. I want to say jerk and dick at the same time. A stupid jick. Oh, spider.
Wait a minute. Come on. There you go. Oh, that's cool. I hit the bat through the wall. So that must be a fast way down, maybe? Yeah. Wonder how high up this goes. Uh, let's check out this side room. Treasure. A level up elixir, all right. Next time we level up, we'll use it. There's a log in the way. I almost didn't see that cat. It was blended in the background. Sweet. I didn't know if there was anything else we needed to buy for Douglas or not. Oh, I need 3,000 for that? Greedy old man. Black hat. There's another cat above us. Chest. Tasty sandwich, alright. Wait a minute. What's with the crate? Something I could dig up. <laughs> oh, that's right. Every time we attack with Douglas too, or we do damage, we get a little bit of health back. Son of a... Love cats. Got five of them. Making sure none of those walls are breakable. One way up. Ooh, boss room. Uh, that's okay. We got a Wu Yun point there. Let's do it. Who are you? Much like visitors, but vermin in my lighthouse. The cats have always kept away the rodents come to steal from my pantry. But seems I'll have to take care of yous myself. Nice lighthouse. You've given it a very, uh, cozy touch. Can I have the address of the decorator? <laughs> and rats are talking. And here's me with a solitude getting to me. All these years in this lighthouse by me lonesome. Or is it the devil come to torment me, baby? Maybe. 
May the we, the fire will purify you. Oh, you're one for fire magic, huh? So am I. Chop off. Oh. We burned him to death. Fancy lamp. Well, we still have the wobbly lamp, but what's the fancy lamp for? Perfect for illuminating large rooms. Is it a lamp that never breaks? Maybe. Oh! Sure. Wonder what that's about. Mallory. Oh. What's Blacksmith doing? Maybe we should go check it out? It looks like that dude was. Oh, shit! Sharpening swords. I don't think he was doing that at the beginning of the game. Oh, fuck. That's okay. I take that back. That's not okay. We gotta kill the cats. Alright, now we can buy the best skill. What was I doing earlier? Oh, that's what I was pushing. Sweet. Alright, let's get the last skill for Douglas. Up and Y. Nope. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. Whoa! I know exactly what we could test that on. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Nice! I'll take it. Well, getting down's faster than going up. Let's go see what Blacksmith was doing. I can hear him. Benjamin Blacksmith. I'm Benjamin the Blacksmith, and I'm sick to death of being interrupted asking about the other Benjamin. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Damn it, I think I'll change my name to William and become a Norwegian salmon fisherman. Then there'll be no more confusion. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. 
Leave me alone! I was just coming to sharpen my weapon. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to lose my temper, but I've been suffering so much with this confusion for so long that I'm turning into an ogre. I used to be a nice guy, you know. I had friends, I used to tell jokes, and I loved visitors. But now, I prefer the solitude of my work with the whetstone. Poor guy. I have devoted so many hours to this task that there is no one better at sharpening than me. Without a doubt. You give me your weapon, I can upgrade it. Do you want to see? Oh, I would love that. Plus 10 to attack. Oh, man. Gotta test this. We gotta, we gotta try this out. 82. I think I was doing, what, 60-some damage earlier? Nice. Alright, um... Where do we need to go now? We do need to finish checking this area out. Uh... Yeah, let's just go for it, because I want to find out what this chest is. So, let's make our way up. This is a false wall. Couldn't be more obvious than that. Sapphire necklace. Oh man, I'm just gonna slaughter. Ooh, Wu Yun. All right. Uh, you know, what? we'll uh, we'll wait to upgrade other people. Cause I might as well top off the other characters while I'm working on it. But um, I'll wait till I get a bunch of spiritual energy. Son of a bitch. Did you just go meh? <laughs> Starting to sound like quite hard Wednesday up in here. Timothy's drawing, the first one. Hey, wait a minute, I know this area. Oh. That's not what I meant to do. Go ahead and take a couple potions. Wait, did this go up again? I can have more? No, it didn't go up again because I still can only have two elixir of attack. I thought I was only able to carry a few of these. Like six of them. Pay visits, Robert. Hmm. <laughs> 
Tasty sandwich, all right. Never complain about getting those. All right, let's get a peek to our left here. Ooh, boss room. Uh, fuck it. Mommy's favorite. Will they be sweet or salty? Um. I can't wait anymore to find out. Shoo! Shall we dance, little octopus? Careful. I might step on your leg. Oh, that's a horrible sight. Okay, so I gotta cut her tentacles, and then I can fight her. Ooh. Bit of a tough customer. You know what? Maybe having some range might not be a bad idea. Um. Again, take that potion. There we go. Ow. Just leveled up too. Oh, we got a hook. Was that everything Pirate Rick needed? Now let's switch back to Douglas here. Here we go. Chest. Five hundred gold. Which, with the amount of potions we could carry now, might be a good idea to stop and see Robert and fill things up. Son of a bitch. Yes.
That's a fake wall. Sweet. Level up elixir. Oh, that reminds me. Bingo. Black powder. Hey, isn't that what uh, the dude in the beginning wanted for his food? here. Whatever. I see a speech icon. That's right, the Leprechaun. You know what, I'm not too worried about him because we have plenty of gold. Um, where should we go next? You know what, we should probably go see... I'm pretty sure that's where Pirate Rick is. Oh, we shouldn't have came up here. We should have just went down. It's alright, we can go up and over. Seven seas, and my name will be feared by all. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I owe you one, mate. I swear I'll remember your help. For toy! Give me your hand, let's seal the deal. This pirate deal. I don't shake hands because of the uh, virus thing, you know. It's better to bump elbows, keep some distance. As you like. Doesn't matter anyhow, I'll always remember your help. At least accept this first day kit as a small token of my thanks. I'm going to live life to the fullest. I'm going to look danger in the eye and dance with death on top of a barrel of rum. A real pirate doesn't need a first aid kit or medical insurance. Those are for cowards. <laughs> So, what do they do? Fully heal me, or... Oh, duh. Restore 15 health for every 10 seconds. Okay. Let's go grab this crate. And then... You know, I really wonder if there was more to the temple to explore. Plus, we could go see Robert on the way. So coming here might not be a bad idea. We could start here and then just run over. Maybe. Where's the nearest teleport room? Oh, that wouldn't be much of a gap, but whatever. I will cut to that and I will see you guys in a bit. If I don't die first. Robert? Would you like
like to buy something? I could buy apples from him now. What else can I buy? Cup of tea? Looks like that's it. I don't think I need that much stuff. Follow us and we'll lead you to her. We have...